higher, much later. Smith Carax, I have been looking for you. Artanis, oh, praise Your the Your nerve cords, they must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come, we must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of a Doom. I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. Huh. Hi, Rock. We are en route to the Spear of a Doom. As long as its generators still function, I should be able to bring them online. Once the spear is fully activated, we must flee from this fallen world. Alright, let's get going then. So, this guy looks so cool. I like him already. I definitely like that guy. Let's get going. So, the Dark Templar are doing their job, are doing the best they can to just cut as many cords so there's more Protoss. That can't be an easy job. Alright, here we go. Is that it? The Spear of Adun lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. I had hoped to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now, it is our last hope for survival. Artemis, why do you flee from your salvation? Solindus, she has fallen under Amon's control. Karax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online. Okay. The first power cell is activating, but the remaining four have been disabled by creep. Crap. I see. We have no choice but to clear them. What of our defenses? Unfortunately, they are without power. However, the Spear of Adun support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. Alright. Let's do that. Oh yeah, while all the loading is happening, I learned about a dune and the Kala and the Dark Templar. Talk about that in a little bit. These photon cannons can defend our Nexus Point, Hierarch. They require only a pylon to function. Ooh! You can warp in a pylon using the Spear of a Dune. Press the Deploy Pylon button at the top of your command screen. Oh, that's cool. Our cannons will now fire upon enemies within range. If they become damaged, the shield battery will restore their shielding. These defenses will indeed be vital to our evacuation, but our first priority must be to clear the power cells of creep. Okay, all right. Okay, so uh, the spear. So these gonna be special abilities we get as we progress in the game. That's cool. All right, that's pretty damn cool. Let's just make up our economy. So uh, I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of attacks. So we should probably build up a bunch of photon cannons while we're going to these things. All right, so we gotta get these five. Okay. So I will tell you about a Dooney in a sec. Can I do these. Here we go. More workers. For now, I'm assuming we're gonna get attacked and then I'll move out. You know what I mean? Like I assume we're gonna get attacked early. And then I'll move out with my guys. And since these are set up here, we're gonna get attacked here. I am the void. 
That's just game. That's just how a game works. I'm glad they brought back the shield batteries, so though. That's cool. Me another one. There we go. Well, we'll keep making these guys. So, um, Adun is the hero f during uh, the past. And, uh, like, there is something called the Aeon of Strife when, um, the Protoss had this big civil war. We can now transform our gateways into warp gates. This allows us to warp in warriors to any area with pylon power. So they had their big civil war, and in order to just bring everyone in line, they, Im they imposed the Kala on everyone. And the Kala somehow has to do with those uh, things at the back of their heads. I'll leave these guys cut theirs off because, of course, they did. So that's what the Kala is. The Kala is this kind of like this, not exactly hive mind, but it's a thing that keeps everyone connected and together. And so some Protoss did not like that because they felt they would lose their individuality. They felt that's what they're going to do. They would lose their individuality if they were a part of the Kala, and they didn't want that. So they went rogue and they cut off their nerve endings or their nerve appendages. Like how Zeratul didn't have one on. Oh, here it comes! Zergling bioforms on approach to our nexus. We must rally our defenses. Cold is the void. So that's what happened. Uh, so they cut off and they eventually become the Dark Templar. One of them was Rashigal. If you remember who she is, she's the, uh, the future matriarch of the Dark Templar. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the fight. Get the fighting. Protect that thingy. There you go. That's protected. Oh, crap. Back off. Back off. There we go. Alright, so far so good. Okay, so that's all repaired. So I should probably make another shield battery. One for each cannon. Might be overboard, I can't tell, but it might be useful. Shield battery here, so there, there's two of them. So, that's what's going on. They uh, they go rogue because they don't want to be a part of the the uh, the Kala because they feel like it, it's, it robs you of your individuality. That's the reason there. And so... A Dune is this big hero of the Protoss, and he's been tasked with the job of capturing all the rogues and killing them. That way they don't have another civil war, since not everyone's under the collar. And Adun's like, alright, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't want a civil war, that wouldn't be good. After meeting Rashigal, he decides to fake her death. He's like, you know what? Rashigal's cool, there's no reason to kill her. So he doesn't, he fakes her death, and he does the same with a ton of more rogues. That's just what he does, he just keeps finding rogues, and faking their deaths. It's just a thing he does. It's, it's the Adun thing to do. His goal is to eventually get the, uh, convince the Conclave, which is the, the ruling elders of the Templa, of the Protoss. He's tr his goal is to convince them to, you know, bring them, bring the Dark Templar back into the fold. Not, you know, kill them all. And so he's, he teaches them how to stealth. He teaches the Dark Templar how to stealth. I don't know. I don't know how he does that, but he teaches them how to stealth, and so they learn stealth from a regular Protoss. I am detecting unpowered warp gates nearby. Constructing a pylon next to them would restore their power, mm -hmm. giving us an advantage. Okay. The Spear of Adun's deploy pylon ability would be ideal for this. Of course, our probes can always warp in pylons as well. Oh, hey, minerals. Okay, let's just warp one in then since we got one out of convenience. Just warp it... Uh, there. There we go. Get these minerals. Warp gate online. We can begin warping in warriors from it immediately, Hierarch. You must place that in a Let's have four. That seems good. Did I just trap him? I just trapped him. Whoops! Alright, well, now I need another one, so let's go ahead and just make another one and make more gates. Gates are always good to have, right? There you go. So that should be a good number of gates. Six should be good. So now we can build up an ag aggressive force. After we make one more cannon wall, let's see here. One, two, three, four, and batteries, of course. One and two. Make a little corridor there. That seems like a good idea. All right, so so he fakes all their deaths. That's what he do. That's what that's what a dune do. And eventually, one of the uh, one of the uh, dark templar. You know, they're, they're learning. Oh, here's coming with some more things. Ooh, Dragoons. I forgot to build a core. So. All right, we're done with that. So let's go ahead and do upgrades now. So put that on there. So. Okay. So Dark Templar are experimenting with their, with their abilities. And one of them creates a Sonic Storm, which kills a bunch of Protoss. Oops. So, 
the Conclave find out they're pissed at a dune for faking their deaths, and like, come on, the hell. So the Conclave's like, okay, we'll put them all on a ship and banish them, and uh, that's what we'll do, so no one knows about the Dark Templar. Um, the leader of the Conclave, he flips out, he's like, no, we're just gonna kill them all, and he tries to kill them all. And a dune sacrifices himself to save the Dark Templar. He combines the Kala and the Void's powers, and he sacrifices himself to sit to protect the Dark Templar from the Conclave. So, Adun is a hero of the Protoss, and because he's a hero of the Protoss, they say that he sacrificed himself to kill the Dark Templar. That's what the Protoss said. The Dark Templar see him as a as their savior because he sacrificed himself to save them. So he's a hero to both sides. Well, he was already a hero before that, but he's more of a hero after that. We so we freed one. one. Yeah, that's why I doing such a hero to everyone. The second power cell is active. The spear sensor array is reacting. Do not deny your destiny, Artemis. Your people have finally found true unity. Let's go and get this upgrade. Sensors online. Wait, what is this? Hmm? War prisms approaching our Ah, crap! Support. Go, 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 go! Wait, wait, no, Stalkers, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Eliminate those war prisms! We got the fence. Oh, wait, no, those war prisms are gonna bring in units. Ah, right, go over there and stop them! Uh, stop that one? No, 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 stop this one, stop this one. I don't know what that prism's going, let's go stop this one. Just attack those things so they can't be warped in. They're gonna die against that wall. That's just gonna happen. So we're good with that. We're good there, so that'll be fine. That's gonna be a problem, so we gotta go kill that. That's what they say for the color. So in a way, the color is like the light side of the force, and then the void's kind of the dark side of the force. Because the void doesn't give the power up willingly. The, the dark templar have to take it from the void. So it's more of a more emotional thing. While the the color is less emotional in a way, I guess. Here you go, do it. We can get get closer to fight. There we go. Another pack of zerglings is approaching our nexus from the south. Ah, we're good. Let me send that one probe over here. I'm gonna make shield battery so I can just get these guys armored up. Because I got a feeling I'm gonna have to deal with some bad things. They're gonna do stuff that makes you want to have shield battery, so I'm gonna just do that. So let's go deal with the shield battery. Go and warp in more guys. You must place that base is under attack. Ah, this is fine. Yeah, oh, it's not so fun. No, that's fine. It's fine. They're good. Batteries are doing their job. Yeah, that thing's just gonna die. So we should be good. Could have just worked in this pylon. Could have just worked in this pylon. No, actually, just make this a forward defensive base when you think about it. So let's just go ahead and... Cause since stuff seems to keep appearing at us, and we saw stuff right here, let's go ahead and just set up a... Uh, let's see here. Cannons. And then two batteries. The so three batteries. Because this is a defensive post. So we can have our guys come back and get shielded. So I gotta play very smart about this. And just get them shielded when needed. Whoa, walk away, walk away. Mm, screw it, go in. Go in, there we go. Blink in, fight this. There we go. Oh crap, more Zerg stuff. So the plan should be to walk away the guys with low shields and get them armored up. I mean, get them shielded up later. So I want to walk these guys back like so. Oh, watch it. It must be reforged. Draw them away and kill them at a safer distance from the defenses. Crap, those guys are over there. No, they're dead. They're just dead. They're just dead. Now I got this forward base for them to get their armor. Let's see here. W, Z, 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 S, S, S. Three of each seems like a good idea. Seems like a good idea. So get them recharged. What's going on? Uh, we gotta find the other warp gates. Uh, what am I doing here? Um, what am I doing here? Oh, upgrade. Oh, uh, that's all done. That's all upgraded. Can this do anything else? No? Eh, whatever. Okay, so... One, two, three... Need more. One, two, three. Alright, there we go. This four should be good enough to break down there. This, there should be stuff over here. Let's go check this out first. Since these are where those guys are, the warp gates are probably somewhere around here in the corner. So we should go get those warp gates first. 
Wigan! No more. Be released from your pain. There we go. Uh, I should have sent that guy away. Oh, the Immortals had that shield ability. Gotta be very careful of that. Is it over here? It is good. Okay, got it. Right, boom, done. All right, move away. Carax, I brought another warp gate online. Prepare it for immediate use. Okay, so now, wrong guy. Other one. Get him down here. Get him to build the uh, pylon and battery. Or yeah, do that. Do the pylon and batteries. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go. Just send the guys over here. What am I doing? Still have a pylon down here because I'm gonna bring them back over here. So it's just pylon here. They're gonna get recharged. Go ahead and warp in more guys. So let's go ahead and go one, two, three, yeah, four stalker. I just put it there! Ah, right, he's dead. Here comes a force, but I don't need to move these guys over there. We'll let the defense handle those guys. So let's go ahead and just make another guy. Make another proby. Put him over here. Go get the other one. Let's get the other one. Please tell him this holds. Oh crap, that one's not gonna hold. Neither is that one. Mm. Alright. Bring in stalkers to help out. Oh, these guys are fighting over here. Well, that's going on. Just get this guy back over here. Ah, these two zealots help fight. I'm gonna need more defenses here, so... That was not strong enough at all, so B, C... Mm, don't want to completely cut off the wall. There we go, that should be stronger. I am the voice of the oh, there it is, found it! Oh, here we go. Uh, e, not E. There. Deployed pylon, there we go. So, uh, where the balls are I want to fight? Oh, let's go over here then, we're right here. Well done, Hierarch. All of the abandoned warp gates are now under our control. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four of each seems like a safe idea. There we go. Build up a big overwhelming force and get the fighting here. These guys are too far out. Get in there. There we go. I lose zealots very... Oh my god, it's a freaking thingy. What's it called? Ultralisk. Surprised me. That guy's attacking from the shadows. Kill him. Keep going in there. Blinking. There we go. Oh, that Ultralisk though. Ultralisk! Get it! There you go! Woo! Oh crap, they come from everywhere. Blinkin! Another Ultralisk! Crap! A Guardians! Holy crap! It's cool to see the old units back, you know? Pretty cool. Okay, so... Looking good! Looking good! against you. Okay. Even the ground beneath your feet carries the seeds of my victory. Okay. Okay. Oh, balls! More attacks! Oh, hey! How fortuitous! That works! That works! We are not defeated yet! Um... Uh, go back here, go back here. Nidus Worms? Okay, this will be defended, so bring in more force. These guys will take care of it. These guys will take care of it. Here we go. Send this force over to get rid of these worms. There we go. Uh, is that going to be good enough? That'll be... No, it's only three. That's only three. Oh, crap. I don't have anyone to send in. I might have made a mistake sending him this way. Oh, uh, the warping soon. I can warp from here, right? Yeah, I can. Here we go. Alright. Uh, okay. These guys will get the Nidus in the back. Yeah, we're losing our cannons. Yeah, we lost our cannons. Luckily, they're gonna draw off. Now these guys deal with this. Or not. Are they heading over there? I have no... Where are these guys at? No, they're not heading over there. Head over there now. I gotta build more cannons. Oh, I'm losing everything here. I need more probes, apparently. There you go. So we lost all our cannons. I need to build a better cannons force over here. Since I keep breaking when more attacks come, it's obvious I'm going to need a really good force eventually. 
it's pretty obvious I'm gonna need a really good defensive wall, so I'm gonna need a lot more minerals as well. Also gonna need another pylon. Back here. Right here. So let's see here. Cannons. One, two, three. I need more minerals. Uh, they're what, 125? 150? Oh, jeez. Yeah, this should be a good enough number. Six of them should be good. Fill that later. Let's get our force over here. Well, yeah, okay. Oh, I get a feeling I'm going to need to be really prepared after I take this next one down. Shoot. Ah, uh, well, luckily we have unlimited minerals, but I don't want to take too long doing that. Uh, just keep building here. Mm, crap, I need to get another thing. Are they fighting? Oh, I killed that, okay. Yeah, let them go ahead and get more shield from here. Very well. And, uh, BB? There we go. Alright. Maybe another one. Maybe one more. Yeah, these seem pretty cheap, actually. How much are they? Only a hundred? That's not too bad. Now, if I could do a forward base attack with these guys, that'd be kind of cool, but I don't think you can do that. You could... No, I don't think you could do that. That'd be kind of hard to do. Alright, so I got a pretty good force. I've got a stupid amount of gas. Alright. Go. Here we go. Got a lot of stalkers, though. Get closer. There we go. Now, if you're going to fight over there, you should probably just kill that pylon. Yeah, just kill that pylon. There we go. There we go. Alright, so after this, you know all hell's going to break. What the hell are those things? Hybrids? Okay, kill them. What's over here? Pyrock, I am detecting a Protoss presence in that direction. That path does not lead to a power cell. We're almost finished, Hyrock. The okay. Spear of a Dune is nearly online. Only one cell remains. Enough. The end to the cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the salvation I bring. Alright, what's gonna... Oh, shoot. That one's not gonna... Oh, no, it's gonna make it. Oh, God, how much crap is coming in? Um... Base race, here we go! Base race, go, 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 go! Maybe we just kill this, we win. Come again. Shall be won. All conflict shall end. Kill that pylon, kill that pylon. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know how the base is doing, but we gotta do this. Oh, God, Banelings. Okay, how's it going over here? They're looking fine, still looking fine. They're looking good. These defenses are working, that's good. Freaking thingy! Kill that hybrid! There we go, there we go. That's a lot of crap coming in. Like, these guys over here and all this? Yeah, I'm gonna just base this. <laughs> you might be fine. Freaking Banelings, no! Uh, actually, I think I can make a force to fight this. Okay, let's see here. I might be able to... Oh, we're good, we're good! Yeah, screw your attack! We did it! Alright, there we go. Power transfer completed. The Spear of Badoon is ready to depart. We are all first one free from Amon aboard, Facemith. We must flee this world if we are to survive. As you command. Oh, look at our defenses killing things. That's awesome. Yay, I built enough cannons. It worked. Ah, they can't beat my base. Getting wrecked by them cannons. Woo, we did it! Alright, okay. So, let's see what we did here. Photon cannon. Uh, spins in less than 50 minutes. Really? Oh, that's a normal. That's a normal. That's a normal. Warp in five units within 10 seconds. So, yeah, what is it? Yeah, uh, normal, yeah, normal. Okay, not on hard. Not on hard. Okay, so... Maybe yeah, charge a lot of points. So, um, there you go. So, here's the question. We got the Spear of Dune. Looks like that's where all the upgrades are going to go. 
What kind of upgrades do you think it's going to be on the Spear of a Doom? Do you think it's going to be... One of them's got to be a big blast attack for sure. Maybe we're going to be able to warp in a bunch of units. Maybe um, a giant... Oh no, a mass warp. Kind of like the Mothership ability. That might be another one. Who knows what you can actually put on this on the Spear of a Doom. I can't wait to see what you can do with that. But that's going to be the big upgrade thing you get to use in this one. So that's going to be cool right there. So what do you think it's going to be able to do? That's what I'm curious about. So let me know what you think. But there you go for now. That is the game. Up next, we're going to see, I guess we're heading to Korhal or wherever the hell. We're heading to Korhal? I think we're heading to Korhal. We're heading to go see Raynor. So that's going to be awesome. So that's the spirit of Dune. So that right there is the game for now. I had fun for watching. That's what's all about, isn't it? Having fun. Thanks, come by. And see you next time.